Good afternoon. My name is Tom Brinsonoff, certified master mechanic out of Reading, Pennsylvania. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to choose a car battery. Now, I'm going to start off by saying anytime you're working around a battery, working with a battery, make sure you have your gloves on. Battery acid has a tendency to burn your skin, so you want to make sure you're protected. The easiest way and the three biggest things you need to know when choosing a car battery is one, the battery size as relation to the actual dimensions of your battery. The second was cold cranking amps, big important issue. And the third one is reserve capacity. A lot of batteries don't have a re reserve capacity, only the, the, some of the high or dollar, uh, more expensive batteries have them. Those three things you want to keep in mind. Now, every vehicle has basically its own design battery. And the easiest way to tell if you can, to look, if you can still see it, and it still has a label. But on top of your car battery, it'll say, either group 65, group 34, group 24. Um, that's basically, any group indication is basically the, the kind or type of battery it is. Um, if you can't find it on here, call your local parts store, they can look it up for you. It's not a big deal. The second was cold cranking amps. That's the amount of power the battery has um, when it's cold out to start your vehicle. The higher number you have, the better. And reserve capacity, your, your third indication is basically if you leave um, your door is open, um, your light's on. It's basically how much, how long it's going to take to completely dissipate the, powder, the power in your battery. Um, the higher reserve capacity you have, the, obviously the better it's going to be. It's going to be able to, if you leave your lights on for like a half hour or something, it's going to be able to hold a charge enough for you to come out and start your vehicle. Um, there's one thing you want to keep in mind um, when you're talking about cold cranking amps with a battery. Um, when you look it up, in your owner's manual or in your, your auto parts store, just keep in mind for every three years of age your vehicle is, you want to add 10% on the cold cranking amps. As your vehicle gets older, it's going to take more power to turn it over. So it would say every three to five years, um, if your car calls for, say, somewhere around 800 cold cranking amps, you want to get something closer to 900 the next time you get a battery. The life of the battery, um, basically, they usually typically only last five years. You can get an eight-year battery. Um, basically, all you're buying in an eight-year battery is a, uh, an extended three-year warranty. It's just basically a t the time you're purchasing. Um, and that's basically all there is to, to picking the right kind of battery. You want to look for the, 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 the correct size, the higher the cold crank amps possible, and reserve capacity. Try to make sure you get a reserve capacity. It's the best three things you need to know when choosing a car battery.